So anyway, I call people out, mate. I call people out in a way that I can feel straight away what's happening, mate. I can see straight away how it feels to be able to go and live my life to the fullest, to be able to go and do my life better, mate. But what I do now is I show you something. I show you that over here, in terms of let's say around the nice beautiful kitchen area of my Walter and Dad's house, I realize I understand that in silence over here, where he may get the knife, then run at me from his living room to the kitchen, where I may be cooking something. I'm pushing. Now that's a blind spot. Which that's a blind spot, man. Which that's something where I have to understand that he can get through. But what I do here is if I see him running at me here. Make sure to throw some kick combos at him, man. Throw some kick combos, and guess what? Oh, shoot. That's all I have time for. I have time. I mean, if I see that, then I kick him in the fucking gut, mate. I just kick him in the gut, and that's it. Which is all I can do. I mean, that's all I can do. I just fucking kick him, and then I make sure to get on top of him, and boom, 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 and I run. I run through the door, mate, and a little bit. I understand that way. Or oh, should that way? I understand this. I understand I avoid that situation altogether and I never ever go in the kitchen, no way, I never go in the kitchen at all. And that's the escape route. And that means, listen, and that means get the fuck out of the house altogether. And that means it's really time to go, mate. I see it. So that means that's the best way. I mean, the best way to avoid all of these situations with my vulture dad is leave the house and feel much safer. Feel much safer away from him than I do with him. You understand? Know and that's the thing. I feel now to just go. I feel now that there's a way to understand something. I understand something. That it's either stand and fight him or run. I have to run, man. I have to run, but guess what? Or else it's more how he is. Or else that's a corner, mate. Yeah, and that's something I understand. But guess what? A little bit this way. A little bit this way. But that's someone over here that's saying I. And what does Jesus Christ do? I mean, Jesus Christ says, that's an open gateway for you to go from him now. I understand that. But guess what? A little bit this way. But it's easier life for me here. It's an easier life for me now. I can't escape it. But it's an easier life for me now. So what I want to do is move on. I, I stand and fight him now. I stand and fight him here. Where he may be in the actual living room. But is there a way for me to avoid that? Or should I guess what? I never have to. I never have to avoid him. And what are the chances that he's going to get the knife in silence? And run after me like that. So Jesus Christ says, I. I see it. Or she, he never does it. Or she can never do that situation. I can measure with the word I. Or she, I can measure everything with the word I, mate. Or she, anyway, I'm, I'm feeling safe for now. But guess what? I feel now, I want to understand this. Whereas he's never here now, I get the knife. And that knife comes with me. But guess what? Or she, yeah. I get the knife, mate. And every time I move closer to the nice and beautiful door, mate, I make sure that what I do is I leave my knife over here in the drawer. And it's more how I have to avoid the situation over here altogether. And that's a calling for me to just get the fuck out. Approach if you feel unsafe, then get the fuck out. You understand? So that's a calling for me. So if you understand to do this, just like that in the voyage. If you, I mean, if you feel unsafe in an area where you have to, or if you feel unsafe in an area where you have to draw a knife, then never go to that area ever again. Because you draw a knife there. You understand? Or if you have to draw a weapon to feel safer in any kind of area of life, then never find yourself in that area. In the first place. I mean, it means fucking get the fuck out of there. Right now. Because it's a dangerous spot for you. I mean, if your little baby who's zero years of age has to draw a knife at you, how do you feel? How do you feel about that? I mean, yeah. I mean, you look very dangerous here, mate. I'm not dangerous. 
I mean, if that little, I mean, if that little baby who's zero years of age has to draw a knife out in that area of Sydney or in Sydney and has to draw a knife out to all the people there, and that zero, I mean, that baby that's just born today in the hospital now has to draw a knife out at the whole of Sydney. Well, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? Well, you get the fuck out of the whole Sydney, man. I mean, go fucking to Adelaide. <laughs> We go to fucking Argentina. We go somewhere else. I mean, the whole fucking city is unsafe for you, man. You know what I'm So that's what I'm saying. That if, if any time you have to draw a knife or a fucking gun or a fucking thing or anything of something to hit someone with in that area or with that person or with that crowd or with that group or with your biological parents or with anyone who around you in life or with the police. And get the fuck away. And run away and walk away first. And walk away first and just run away and never fucking come there again. And it's a signal that if I have to... I'm holding a knife here. It's just a signal for me that says, Hey, get the fuck out of here as soon as possible. I have a knife with me, man. It just says, get the fuck away from me. Because do you think I want to fucking be holding a knife all day long? I mean, fuck no. <laughs> I don't want to fucking be holding a knife while I'm around my Polish dad all fucking day long, mate. It's a signal for me to get the fuck out of here as soon as possible. So that's what I'm telling you to do. That if he ever gets to that point, to understand my situation here, yeah? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm never telling you to do this in terms of what I'm doing. I'm showing you what you can do. Just like I'm doing here. That's what I'm saying, yeah? I mean, I'm holding a fucking knife to signal me. And literally, just to signal me, hey, fucking get the fuck out of here, mate. As soon as possible. And get the fuck out of this house and never come back to this house ever again. I'm telling you right now, I never want to be in this fucking house anymore. Even if it's fucking for free, mate. I have to be here for now. I have to be here for now. I have an easier life here for now. I have to draw a knife at him now. I have to draw a knife at him, mate. Right? For sure. Which if your little baby has to fucking, I mean, if your little baby who's zero years of age, and let's just say, you're, I mean, let's just say your baby is just born today, and they have to draw a knife at somebody, right? I mean, they don't want to be around those people anymore. They don't want to be around my bullshit dad anymore, mate. I have to draw a knife at him, mate. I have to draw a knife at him. Because he now wishes me happy birthday, mate, in words. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. He never said happy birthday to me in words, mate. And he understands that. Now, guess what? I promise you that he is unaware of it. Which is unaware. So that's why I'm saying that he never loves me like I believe, mate. But she loves me to the point of what he's giving me only. But she does love me to some point. I mean, he was never trying to cause me violence today. But he was never trying to wish me a happy birthday, though. I mean, guess what? I mean, in the nice and beautiful attitude here, I want to show you something. They're saying happy birthday in another way. They're saying happy birthday in another way, but he feels he never has to give you those words. And that's the worst thing that you can do, mate. And he feels that he never has to give me words of happy birthday. That's a fucking bullshit artist, mate. But that is something of big confusion, mate. I want to show you something. I mean, you always have to give people words, mate. I see you. I see the killer, mate. I see that guy's a killer, mate. I see, everything's the word I, mate. I'll show you something. Push that guy. Can be a killer, mate. But guess what? I mean, I have a knife here. I have a knife waiting for him. I'm no way for him, mate. I mean, the knife's waiting for him, mate. You understand? I'm no way for him, mate. I mean, imagine Jesus Christ and God never wishing you happy birthday. What the fuck does that tell you, mate? When God sends you a whisper over here, get the fuck out. You understand me? I mean, get the fuck out. I mean, imagine your little baby or your family never wishing you happy birthday anymore. What the fuck does that tell you? I mean, he tells you, get the fuck out. I mean, go somewhere else and never come back. You never come back to those people. I understand? Yeah, 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 I understand that. 
Oh, I'm never been to swear. But do you, I mean, do you believe I am someone worthy? I'm someone worthy. Well, she guess what? I say yes. I say yes. I say yes is what you say. I would also though, imagine God. I mean, imagine God who is Jesus Christ and God. And let's just say it like that in terms of everything is Jesus Christ in terms of God, which is the word I. I mean, let's just say that he himself has to, let's say, draw a knife at people. I mean, how do you feel about that? I mean, like fucking shit. I, I feel, I feel, I never feel like fucking shit though. But I'm making sure that God never has to draw a knife at you, mate. I mean, God never gets to that point. You know what I'm saying? But for myself over here, I have insurance. I have insurance that I'm safe now. I'm safe and sound. But I want to get out of this house. And I understand that. I want to help you to explain myself over here with images here, with words. Now, words are images, but imagine, for example, understanding that do you believe God and Jesus Christ, who is God, goes around having kids to place the kids around a person who never wishes God and Jesus Christ happy birthday? Or actually, fuck no. You know and that's how I feel. I feel he's never wishing me happy birthday. So I never want my kids around him either. I never want my kids and wife around him either. You understand? Know that's the way God feels too. I mean, how does God feel today? Gosh, God feels the word I only. The only way you can feel something in life is the word I, mate. I mean, now, I understand the homicide over here. See, homicide is, if I stab him and I move on, I already said that. I said, I fucking ran away. I, I ran away from him. Approach now, I can get away from it here. Because the possession of the knife is in the house. Approach now, the law is, with the police, that you can have possessions of any kind in your house. I mean, you can have a gun in your house. You can just be in the house, yeah? You can be in your house, but never on the street somewhere. I mean, I mean, you can get a gun license and you can have a fucking shotgun in your house, mate. I mean, you can have a shotgun in your house, mate. I mean, no worries. But only in your house. But that's your house. You can have anything you want in your house, mate. I mean, that's your house. I mean, it's like God's house. I mean, God can have anything in his house, mate. I mean, whatever you want. I mean, this whole world is God's house, mate. I mean, God can have whatever he wants in his house, mate. You know what I'm saying? Like, in your house, you can have a butcher knife. I mean, you can have weapons all together. I mean, look at the positions over here. I have a fridge as a weapon. <laughs> I have a TV as a weapon. I have fucking everything. But let's say... For example, that if you carry it on the street somewhere, like a civilian, which now the law is to never carry it on the street, mate. I mean, never carry your weapons on the street, mate. You never do it. Because that's where other people are. But in your house, it's just you. I mean, you and your family in your house. And that's different. I mean, that's your house. And it's just you and your family. And that's something that you trust, yeah? But trust yourself more than your family. I mean, trust your word I in terms of I love you. I mean, trust the words I love you more than anything. Actually, that's how God does it. I mean, God trusts the words I love you more than anything, man. I mean, God trusts the words I love you more than people. I mean, God trusts you more when you say I love you than when you never say it. You understand? I mean, God trusts you more when you say I love you rather than I hate you. I mean, God trusts you more when you say I love you. Yeah, I mean, there's a big difference. I mean, positivity words is much better than negative words, mate. See, I mean, I love God. I love God is what I mean. I, I never fuck God. I never fuck God. I love God, mate. You understand? Huh, <laughs> man, that's what I mean. So, what I do is I'm carrying the knife around for a bit around my box, that's house, mate. I look like a killer, mate. I'm never a killer, mate. I'm never a killer. But this knife is going to be around just for safety reasons, man. I feel safe. I can stab him. I can stab him. Watch now. If for some reason this happened, mate, and watch this. 
Actually, this is where the police can charge you, and there's no witnesses around town. And let's say you stab him a few times, for fuck's sake, and he dies, man. And I mean, I mean, let's say you stab him or her a few times in your house, and that person was trying to kill you, but you stab him and stab him and stab him. So there's no evidence now to support that person was trying to kill you, man. I mean, where's the evidence, yeah? Or should I say you try to kill me? I mean, never try to kill anybody. I mean, I mean never, I mean, never try to stab anybody. Never try to kill anybody. But let's say you and I mean, let's say you're my biological mother or my, I mean, I mean, let's say you're my biological mother or father, and you're in the house with me, but you come to stab me and you try, you try to kill me. I mean, you're trying to kill me. I have a knife here, but I kill you first. <laughs> I kill you first for fuck's sake. And then, I mean, now you're dead. I call the police and I said this man was trying to kill me for fuck's sake, or this woman was trying to kill me. And the police says, oh, I mean, where's the evidence? <laughs> I mean, fuck. I mean, where's your evidence? I say, I say so. Approach now. The evidence, approach now, say this. I'm mean, trying to say, hey, but look at my history. I, I never did this to anybody. Approach, that's a history, yeah. I mean, that's a bit of evidence, yeah, to support you. I mean, that's some evidence to support you. And then witnesses, I mean, witnesses other than yourself only. I mean, you are your only witness, but... Are they able to support you with this evidence? Are you going to do it again, man? I said no. I said no. I said I'll never do it again. Now, 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 they can sort of help you. I mean, they could sort of help you here. But guess what? By law, I mean, you're your only witness here. I mean, you're the only witness. I mean, they look at your history and they look at your history and say, I mean, this man done something here and done something here or this woman done something here and here but depending on your record and depending on your record here I mean, they can let you go depending on your record I realize with my record I was more actual criminal record with police or should I had some public nuisance with a woman I mean public nuisance at most and schizophrenia or should that's it or should, I mean drugs with schizophrenia I mean pressure drugs with schizophrenia and fucking let's say Public nuisance with a woman and public nuisance. Versus that, versus that's it, yeah. Versus that's my history of. I mean, fuck's sake. I mean, guess what? I mean, anyway, I'm pretty sure are they able to let me go? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're able to let me go about this one. But they keep an eye on me. Well, they keep an eye on me here. I'm sure they're able to let me go. But let's say if you're somebody who did pull like, a gun out. I mean, you, let's say you pull a gun out on somebody. And they see it on the fucking criminal record. And then you do a homicide like this. I mean, they say, oh, but we see that you fucking did pull a gun out of somebody, or you did pull a knife out of somebody, or you did stab somebody before. Which they never want to trust you here. Which they never want to trust you at all, man. For sure. Which they never want to trust you anymore, man. You know what I'm For sure. So that information shows you that. I mean, that's really, really lucky. I mean, you get really lucky about this witness kind of thing. But listen to me. I mean, never get to the point where you have to fucking kill them in the first place. Because guess what? I mean, yes, I mean, they're trying to kill you. But try to fucking kick them. Fucking kick him in the head. For fuck's sake. Or fucking jump out of the window. For fuck's sake. I mean, fucking high talent. For fuck's sake. I mean, chuck a fucking hero at them. <laughs> chuck the hero and the speaker at them. For fuck's sake. I mean, fucking break the window and jump out. For fuck's sake. And run. And run, fat man, run. <laughs> <laughs> So run skinny Asian. So fucking run. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> I mean, guess what? I mean, anyway. I say, yeah. So welcome to India. I say, it's a good to fucking run India. So fucking run to India. <laughs> so fuck's sake. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love Mahatma Gandhi. I love everybody. I brought you all the guess what? I brought you anybody. Just do that, man. I mean, just do that, please. And never try to stab them in the first place. I never try to get there in the first place. I was for myself. I hope I never get to the point where I have to stab him, mate. I fucking locked the door. And if he's trying to get me, Russia, if he's trying to get in the door and trying to open it like that, I open the window right here and just jump out, mate. I'm going to just jump out. And then I call the police and I say, this man tries to break the door and trying to kill me, mate. Now the police can help you and says, why? I mean, why? And just say, I have no idea. Russia, please come again, mate. And what do you want, or as I say, what do you want to do with him? I mean, they ask you. I mean, I mean, you just say, I want to live. I want to live. I want to get my stuff and I want to go. I mean, probably they can help you with that. And never come back to him. That's it. I mean, I mean, never go back to them. 
I, I had an opportunity here when I was around 13 years of age to leave my boss with that for being so violent around the house, man. I remember this police officer says, are you sure, man? Are you sure you want to be back with him? I said, yeah, I know right, man. I made the best decision, yeah? I made the fucking best decision in that time, man. I made the best decision, unfortunately. I was around 13 years of age. Yeah, I, I could have left him. I could have left him, man. I, I said, nah, nah, nah. I'm just leaving, man. I mean, here I am, fucking... Eight, I mean, and here I am, 16 years later, man. Still with my balls with that, man. I mean, from that point, I mean, how long has it been, man? I mean, it's been 16 years. For fuck's sake. I mean, I understand how that feels, man. I mean, from 13 years of age, I made a decision. I mean, around 13 years of age, I made the decision that i just be with my balls with that then. Even though it's violent like that. I was never afraid of him, you know what I'm I was never afraid of him. But if I was so afraid of him, I would have fucking ran away, mate. But here I am still alive, mate. I made, I made a good decision, yeah? I made a good decision. I guess what I approach anyway, 16 years later from 13 years of age. So imagine 7 years later, he's up to 20 years of age, mate. And then 9 years later, is how much? I mean, 16, yeah? I mean, 20 to 29 is 9 years. I mean, it's fucking 16 years, man, altogether. I mean, around 16 years of age. I mean, around, I'm doing better than that. I mean, it's around 16 years since that's been happening. Or since that did happen. I realized I learned something. I realized that's something to do with something more. But I have better than that. <laughs> I realized I guess what approach anyway. I mean, 16 years, yeah, I mean, I'm, st I'm still 29, man. I'm still 29. I'm still with my biological parents, man. But I'm much better now. I'm doing much better. I'm away from the crowd. I'm doing much better. I support myself. I'm doing something else. But then, yeah, gosh, that's how homicide is, man. I mean, homicide is never get to homicide. We never get to the point of homicide. We never get to the point of domestic violence. We never get, we never get to the point of domestic violence. I had some points where my boss would have hit me here and there, even while after 24 years of age before. And guess what? I understand that. I never have to be in that situation anymore. But I could I could have called I, I could have been calling the coppers here to get the fuck away from him. I mean, I'm still here. But she, he never hit me again from that point, and that's been over five years now. I mean, that's been around five years now. But she never hit me again from that point. I mean, they'll make a good decision. They'll make a good decision again. For fuck's sake. I mean, that's already two good decisions I made with him to never leave him. I mean, I said, I mean, why is that? Because otherwise I have to work another five job over there. I mean, otherwise I have to fucking work alone and be alone in Australia, for fuck's sake. And guess what, Prussia? Either way, I understand. I, I could run away to a biological mum's house. I can work to go to a biological mum's house, but that's different. I can understand that's a new road, yeah? I mean, why did I go there? Prussia, I made a better decision here. I found my word I am. I'm much more successful with my biological dad than with my biological mum, mate. I, I, I learned some stuff over here in Sydney, Australia with my biological dad. Oh shit, this is worth it for me. Oh shit, that's something that you never understand. But I learned something and it's, I mean, you have to trust me on that. You have to trust me that I made better decision to be here in Australia with my biological dad than my biological mum. Oh shit. I found my word I for I love you here. I've done all this content for you here. I've done over a thousand hours of talking with my biological dad here. But with my biological mum, I, I may have never done that, I promise you. I promise you, now you see. I found music production with my biological dad here. But with my biological mum, I promise you, maybe I would never would have been a music producer anymore. I mean, they say, yeah. They say, yeah. I promise you, it's a great decision, man. I found, I, found, I, found, I found myself a life coach with my biological dad here. But with my biological mum, maybe never. Probably with my biological mum, maybe never in that occasion. I, I maybe never would have been a life coach with my mother, with my biological mother. But yeah, probably that's how it is, mate. But anyway, I found a better decision making over here with my biological dad. What I do now is I'm learning, man. I want to be able to withdraw this weapon really quickly. I'll just fucking place it somewhere around here. I'll just fucking 
draw it right there, mate. I'll just pull it under a plastic bag, mate. Lovely. I mean, that's a knife. I guess what, I'll brush it now. I guess what, I mean, do you believe I'm making a good decision now to have a knife with me? I say, yeah, man. I'm making a good decision now, too. Make a good decision now, mate. I never had to do this before, mate. Brush it. That's how I feel, mate. I have to, I, have to, I understand you. I mean, you can see I'm making good decisions, mate. <laughs> making good decisions, yeah? Gosh, that's where I am. I never hate you. I came to the conclusion that I is the best. I mean, just look closer, guys, to what I said. I is the best. I am the way. I is the best. In terms of the word I is the best. I mean, the word I is the best. I is the best, yeah? See guys, if you want to do some fashion photos around town, we're going to speak more words regardless. And then you're never ever losing time if you want to speak more words over anything that you want to do. Then just speak words over what you want to do. And then just go do something more than that in words. And then eventually you find yourself more attractive regardless. And you're never wasting time this way because you're speaking over what you want. And that way you find more of what you want. So anyway, so what I do is I love my life. I make sure that no matter what, I can see the way how I feel. I feel much better. I feel no matter what, I'm learning something along the way. I'm learning to become a star. I'm learning to understand something, man. I'm learning to just go and dwell upon my life. But I feel safe enough regardless, man. I never want to run away. I it. If other people are trying to make me run away, I would draw a weapon. I get a weapon, man. I if other people are trying to make me run away, I get a weapon. I get a weapon right away, and it says to, for me to just fucking run away from that position. But get to the point where you never have to draw a weapon. I mean, get to the fucking point of life where you never have to draw a weapon in the first place, mate. Actually, now we're even better, mate. Don't you? Actually, if you have to draw a weapon, then never draw a weapon in the first place, mate. You understand? Gosh, that's why there is a law in the police as well that says never draw a weapon on other people, mate. I promise you. I mean, never even draw a weapon. I just never get to that stage to draw a weapon on other people, mate. And try to dwell upon a better way for yourself to succeed. But I never lock my phone. I never try to lock my phone. I make sure that what I want to do is I like, keep locking it every 10 minutes. But that's the thing, man. I have to be with my phone while everything's uploading. Because while my phone's in a locking position or in a lock mode, then my... YouTube videos and my Mega Drive never uploads. But when my phone's in an unlocked position, where I can just open it and just, when it's open altogether, and when it's never in a locked position, and when it's just in an unlocked position, I make sure you understand that my phone can always upload content into YouTube and Mega Drive without worries. Because my phone, I can just go into Instagram now, yeah? And when I can just go around the phone like that, when it's in an unlocked position like that, then I understand that the phone's open and I can just go and there's no security code on it. But guess what? Whereas there is a security code on my phones, but when there's no security code on it, but then my content is uploading online faster to YouTube and Mega Drive and social media than if my phone is with security codes on it. So I never try to lock my phone when I'm using it. Whereas if I'm uploading something on my Mega Drive or YouTube or Instagram, I never try to lock my phone ever. But if I leave it somewhere, then it locks on its own after 10 minutes. I, I can let it be that way. Well, that's for security reasons. But I try to touch the screen every five minutes or one minute or something within 10 minutes. I try to touch the screen so it never fucking locks itself, mate. And that's what I do, yeah? Make sure anyway, the way I want to do is I learn, yeah? I learn something. But if you fucking click also, or else if you... I mean, if you click the screen a few times, I guess what happens? I mean, if you click the screen a few times, then the fucking lock, I mean, the screen locks itself as well. I learn as well. I can see that straight away. I can see how I feel, mate. And I can see straight away that the, from fa facial, I see the facial recognition is actually working, mate. I see my facial recognition on the phone is actually working. I'm learning something as well. I'm learning how to just be more and more for myself, I realize that no matter what, I'm learning quickly upon my life and how life is actually working out for me, mate. I'm learning how to go and do a greater job for myself. So this guy wants to fight me, mate. Because he really, really hates me, mate. 
Haha, <laughs> Lindy. And he acts like a nice dude or something. And he acts like he's very nice or some shit. I see it. See, anyway, mate. This guy's a loner, mate. She has nothing, mate. <laughs> this guy has nothing, mate. I'm sure she acts like he's some kind of cute boy or some shit. <laughs> oh, a wanker. I so say anyway, I was like, what I want to do is learn to grow, mate. I learned to grow differently, but what I want to do now is I'm focusing on helping myself to promote people. I have to promote people too, but that's the thing. I understand I have all the time in the world now to just do I. I understand that no matter what, my beautiful, I know my nature also has to go on to the nice and beautiful way of life over here. But let's have a look over here to promote my mentors. Promote these mentors, man, and let it be that way. I feel that no matter what I'm learning, I'm learning how to just go and grow myself. But am I wasting time? Unfortunately, I'm never wasting time, but my habits are increasing because of why. I'm talking more words, and the more words I speak, the better my habits. Which that's why. Which anyway, I feel that no matter what I can see this, over here means I'm just doing much greater. Make sure you understand straight away how I feel. I feel just much more than other people, mate. I feel my actual content is picking up in terms of views, mate. But what I do is I keep getting out those business cards, mate. I mean, guess what? I'm learning very quickly that sooner than later, I'm fucking hitting the big time, mate. I just keep continuing my life, mate. I keep going with what I'm doing. Say Harry Potter people to the Harry Potter cast. I want to understand straight away how I feel. Just say Harry Potter cast, mate. So I'm, pro I'm promoting people from Harry Potter. I want to promote different people. I want to see who else I can see straight away. That everybody's great, but let's have a look over here. I mean, anybody who strikes me, really. I mean, I mean, these guys are random, but I'm not saying that I'm just a good eye. I realize that this guy here, I see this guy as somebody that I can promote. I can promote him, mate. And he, he, I mean, he hits me as a great actor, mate. I mean, he somebody I recognize. Or I promote someone I recognize and someone I never recognize, mate. For sure, though, that's why it's. So I see it's Devon Murray. So Devon Murray. So Devon Murray is a. I see Devon Michael Murray is an Irish actor. And he's best known for Harry Potter films. But listen, I see this guy here. I say, let it be that way. Gosh, now I understand and know what that. I learned something very quickly about people, mate. I'm learning how to grow myself. I'm learning how to understand that. Yes, I realize I see this guy here. I focus on understanding this guy. I move on. I move on. Which is better, mate. Which is better. But is it? Really? I mean, I feel that there's better than this guy. But guess what? I feel I can find always a greater, mate. You understand? But guess what? I promote him. <laughs> move on. I promote, I promote Devon Murray, mate. Focus on understanding to just go and do it. I mean, just go and see something much more, mate. I mean, see much, I mean, see something much more, mate. I mean, guess what? Bro, it's much more how I feel, mate. I feel that no matter what that I can see, how it is, and how it is, I understand. It's just that, mate. I mean, just keep going, mate. See, so always understand that no matter what that, as I grow myself, just promote. I mean, just promote. And I promote people I recognize from certain movies and whatever. But she, why not, mate? Say, so no worries, mate. It's just the way it is, mate. But focus on saying that if you want to go and grow yourself, then just understand how it feels, man. I mean, it feels that no matter what I see, the other people here are saying, hey, I mean, just promote, mate. But she, every single day, just learn. I mean, learn how to grow, man. I mean, everybody's great, man. I, mean, I never hate anybody, man. I mean, if you promote them, then you never hate them, do you? I never hate those people I promote. <laughs> I mean, how can you hate somebody you promote? But there's no chance to hate somebody you promote, mate. Well, what I'm understanding now that my music here is falling behind, mate. I can see it. And guess what, bro? It's more how I feel. I'm moving up in other areas. Haha. <laughs> bro, my music is going up here. Bro, I'm ready for it, mate. Bro, that's what I look at. Look at more at the individual aspects of how much music I've done than how much music I'm yet to do. 
for sure now it's more fulfilling I look at what I've done only and never what other people have done though I look at what I've done so far for sure, that's more of a gateway for me than what other people have done why is that? I realize because what I've done is more important than what for sure, what I've done so far is more important than what other people have done though I could say so. I say that no matter what. I feel straight away that I understand that no matter what. That's why I see straight away this guy here. Yeah. And this guy here deserves a promotion. I see I see John Marywood. I see John Marywood. Please, mate. But she is someone who has a spouse. And he's someone who had... I mean, he had four spouses, mate. I can see that. I was all every single time I'm learning, yeah. I'm learning to perform greater, I'm learning to be greater for myself. I'm learning to do something that is helping me move forward. I mean, that's what you have to do, mate. I mean, you have to learn something along the way, mate. I mean, you guys have to learn how to never punish yourself, but learn how to go and do it. But I see that how they're looking at me and they see I caught them out, mate. I caught them out here and there's no excuses anymore. I mean, they see straight away how they feel about me here. Yeah. When they see, they understand how that, it all goes, mate. But guess what, bro? That's why karma's a bitch. See, John Marwood, see, John Mar, see, John Marwood, please, is an English actor and comedian and screenwriter and producer. And he had around four wives and has one wife now. And also, I see no matter like what. It's more how he also has two children. And he's around 81 years of age. And he's around 1 meter 96 centimeters in height. I'm doing better on that. For sure that now I'm focusing on making sure that I have that nice and beautiful attitude going. But that's the thing. I understand that this photo right here is much better than the other one. For sure it's much more who he is right now. For sure that if you understand that way to promote people who feel... That they are greatness, mate. Watch now, that's not. Watch now, just promote that. Watch if you promote people who are great around town, then I still have to just go and promote myself. But guess what, watch that's something where I can promote myself to these mentors that I have. But if I do that, watch if I show them that how much more videos I'm doing and all that, watch that's something I have to show, huh? Watch it, yeah. Watch that's something where they feel the tendency to lift themselves because. I see some guys doing more YouTube work than them. <laughs> I mean, they see some guys doing more YouTube work than them. Brush it down. I show them that. Brush it. That's why I'm not saying I win here. Always. I win always here. I mean, it means that I'm a star, mate. Brush it. Yeah, I mean, go ahead. I mean, go ahead. I show them. Brush it. No. I don't care about them. Brush it. Just with these stars, bro. I, I promote myself around stars, mate. And because I do that. I focus on understanding that I have plenty of time to just upload this content now. Let it upload and upload. I mean, let my content upload and how many videos do I have online, mate? I mean, let, I mean, let this content upload and I upload one video, I have 900 videos with this one on YouTube videos. And you guys can reference that now. I'm just 29 years of age now. I mean, ooh, I mean, I have a better time now. I focus on staying that. So what I want to do is I want to focus on help myself see the nice view for Harry Potter cast right here. Let's have a look. And the Harry Potter cast, mate. I feel that no matter what, I can see straight away how I feel, man. I feel that it's much more how anything that catches my mindset right here. But guess what? I feel it's more how I understand straight away how I'm honest. See, I see I did promote it, mate. See, although, guess what, I appreciate it. as I promote people, I can feel there's so many more people I can promote, mate. See this one here? See, nah. Oh, shit, guess what? I recognize this one here. I see, I see, see, Robert Patterson actually shows up in the Harry Potter film, mate. Right, I see, he's the actual guy from the Twilight series. Oh, shit, back then, I appreciate people loved that film, man. I appreciate people love that film with Twilight series, man. I love that film, too. I see Twilight series, I see Robert Patterson is in the Twilight series and he's the guy from the English actor kind of film and he's the English actor. I'm better than that. <laughs> well, guess what? I understand something about this. I'm not saying that, I'm not, I'm not saying that no matter what, I can see how he's one of the highest 
paid actors as well. And that's, I mean, Pat, or I, see, I see Robin Patterson. See, Robin Patterson is one of the highest paid actors and also he's around 35 years of age now. He's 1 meter and 85 centimeters. And he's been in some films over here. And he also has Richard, I mean, he has two parents, of course. I mean, he's single. I mean, Robert Patterson is single at the moment. We also have Taylor over here. Whereas now, guess what? I'm learning something about Twilight Series cast, mate. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll promote some Twilight Series cast around here. So, why not? I'll say Twilight. So, Twilight. So, Twilight Series cast. Well, sure, then, guess what? I'll brush off here. I'm just learning how to grow myself and I'm learning the architecture of life over here. With different ways of promoting people all the time to make sure I have more enough success all the time to beg to defer in better ways. I understand that my life is, I understand my life is deserving of a greater way of life. I say more sexy than other people because I'm more with I mate. Which that's something that you have to understand, mate. I'm sexy because I have word I mate. And that's something where I can tease people, but I guess what I pressure them, they never care about me, even if I tease them so much. I'm learning something there. We should just like that. Pressure, they never care about how much I tease them. Pressure, I can give them so much some sense of humor, but they never care about that. Well, just, hey, I'm learning something there. Pressure, they never care about my sense of humor. I mean, they care that if I chase them, I'll never chase them. Pressure now. Guess what? I mean, there's a big difference now about how I'm actually doing sense of humor. There's a time and place for sense of humor, mate. And it's just with I. For sure, other people never understand your sense of humor. For sure, they never understand your sense of humor. For sure, they only, for sure, they only understand your sense of humor if you chase them fully. I understand that. For sure, they only, for sure, they only understand when you tease them, when you chase them. For sure, that's it. Anyway, I'll move on, but Virtually everything else is a flirt, but they never understand that sense of humor. I do. I'm much smarter than them here. I see something that they never see, man. See the fucking stupid. I'll move on. <laughs> They're fucking stupid idiots. Virtually, guess what? Virtually, there's a type of sense of humor that's just words, mate. And they never understand that. <laughs> they never understand words. I mean, they never understand that type of sense of humor. Overall, I mean, they never, I mean, they never understand the talk, mate. But that's what that is. I'm sure they understand how it is. I'm, I'm, I'm the best sense of humor at the top of Indonesia on the planet, mate. So, also known as. I say, also known as. Robert. Pattinson. See, Robert Patterson has, in Patterson. Pat into tin into sun. So Pat alright, so it's Pat the sun. See anyway, that's what I feel mate. Put everything in quotation marks. And I will put everything in quotation marks and more. Whereas now guess what? I have more to do now. I have a greater sensibility about myself. I have something much greater than them. But guess what? Whereas they feel it coming. I mean they feel it coming, but that's something that I understand. I understand that, but they never see that. I should actually see it. I should see that, but that's the word I there. That's the word I that they see, mate. I mean, they see my word I, but they're never speaking about that much. I can see that. I wish they never talk about it. I wish they never talking about that, mate. I wish they never want to admit that, mate. I wish anyway, I want to dance now. With that, I don't know, let me know. I can move on, mate. I can move on, yeah. Oh yeah, I'll move on. Let's say Harry Potter series again. The Harry Potter cast. I mean, hold on. I'll show you something. I mean, let's have a look. I mean, let's have a look at the Harry Potter cast over here. Oh shit, it's much more how I feel, man. I feel that no matter what, I can see straight away. How I understand what I mean by. It. I love everybody. I love everybody, man. I mean, you must understand. That's much more how I understand straight away. What's happening around town, mate? I see this guy here. I see this guy here. I see this 
this guy, I understand that this guy is something different, but let's have a look at him. I could promote him, mate. I could promote him. I've seen him before, mate. I've seen him before. I see this guy is Robert. I see this guy is Rod. I see this guy is Richard Griffins. I see this man. I see, well, I understand that, mate. I can see the lifestyle, but guess what? I mean, every single day, just learn how to enjoy yourself, yeah? I learn to just go and do your life, mate. But guess what? I, I, I get to ride off in the sunset alone, mate. And that's where everybody's going, mate. Or, or that's a dream come true, mate. I get to achieve that dream. I can achieve that. I can get to go ride off in the sunset, mate. And I want to explain a bit. I want to, I want to explain a bit about Richard Griffin's over here. And he is a English actor, and he's also someone who stars in the play The History Boys. And he's also somebody who's around, let's say, March. Or I see he's actually gone from this world. He's from 28th of March 2013. I see he left this world. Maybe I, I recognize him. Maybe I think he'll be fine. Thank you. Might as well do it. Here we go. See, I see Richard Thomas Griffins is born in the Thornaby, United Kingdom. And he has one spouse as well. And let me, I see she's alive. See, I see Heather's still alive. So let's take that. I'm going to have a look at a photo. I don't know. I mean, so what's important for now is I'm saying straight away, I'll be. See which one is it? So that'll be that way. I mean, that's to be one of obviously that's her. Huh? So that can be her mate. That'll be that way. So definitely, mate. So anyway, so what's important for me is learning. Yeah. I, I'm not saying how nice I am. I mean, I see that is nice. I see everything is nice, but make sure I understand that. And I what I understand. But guess what? I mean, that's a different lifestyle. That's a different lifestyle. And that's something new to experience, but guess what? But it's much better to have a better word eye here. Gosh, gosh, it's much better to have a better word eye. See, now, I understand. I see, I see 2014, I see, I mean, how young is he? I mean, that's a look. It's 2013 and 1947. I see 66. I see, that's my bulge at that age. I don't know. Now, what's important is understanding that no matter what, I'm learning, yeah? I'm learning to be nice. I'm learning to be nice. But you, everything that's nice and beautiful for you is understanding straight away. Just promote people. I'm pretty sure I can promote everybody, mate. I'm sure everybody's great. I'm pretty sure everybody's equal. So you're also known as Richard. So yeah, I see he's also known as Richard. Griffins. Big Griff. I made the best decision over here where I left the Grafton and I never went to Grafton from that point. I can go to Grafton whenever I want, mate. Unfortunately, it's doable and it's just around one hour drive from fucking Brisbane. Which I can go there, mate. It's fucking no worries for me, man. But I fucking go in a bit of time, mate. Which I feel, I feel I fucking hit the jackpot here, mate. Huh. Which is she? Which is that woman there, mate? I see a little bar, mate. I mean, guess what? I mean, she has a voice. She has to be a word I mate. I mean, she never believes in those people who promote her, mate. <laughs> I mean, well, man. I promote her more than she does for me, you know, Tony. Prosha. I'm Prosha. Prosha, although she's in the words, but she never promotes me personally, mate. Prosha, nah. I, I promote her, but I'm much better than her, mate. <laughs> Much better than her here. I see now. I see Taylor Swift. I see Taylor Swift is another one, but I see Taylor Swift. I see Taylor Swift is beautiful. I go ahead and understand that. I see Taylor Swift. I mean, she can sing, man. I mean, she can. I mean, she's a beautiful singer, mate. But guess what? I'm much better than Taylor Swift in singing, mate. <laughs> see, never mind. I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you. <laughs> I mean, guess what? I mean, 
that's something that I can sing. I can fucking sing it, man. I can fucking sing that, but let me know. I have to learn the lyrics, man. <laughs> but she's, I mean, she's, and she's, a, and I have to understand her name too. I have to find that song, man. And she heard me, and she said, you can sing a bit of that. And she said, you can sing a bit of that. I said, I sing better than you. <laughs> I sing better than you in your song. <laughs> I said, really? <laughs> I said, really? I said, hey. I said, you wish jellyfish? <laughs> I said, hey, I have, a, I have a word I. I said, hey, 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 I have a word I. I can sing better than you in that. I I I have a better I have a better word I than you. I say yeah. I mean never, I mean never mess with me. No. Oh, I mean, I'm better than all the singers in the world, mate. I have a word I at least. Ah, oh. I mean, he's honest. He's honest. Yeah. <laughs> I guess what, Brush. Anyway, Brush. What's important is you guys never understand what I just said. But guess what, Brush. The word I is something that you have to understand. I feel you, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ says, I feel you, man. I can sing that. Man, I can fucking sing it. So good, man. I see, I see Whitney Houston. I see Whitney Houston in terms of, I will always love you. Well, sure, I can sing it equally with her in that scenario. I can sing it equally, man. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I she has to start. When she, when she starts with the I, man. Watch this person here. See Dan Bazurian. See see Dan Bazur. See Dan Bilu. See Dan Bilderian. See this guy. See this guy, man. I promote him, but he has no kids at the moment, and he's single, and he wants kids. Or is he wants a kid? A little bit. A little bit. So yeah, I see. I see too much fucking around. With, <laughs> see, he's fucking too many women, man. Well, guess what? I have the word I at least. I have the word I, mate. Brosh, Brosh, I have the word I. I have more experiences with the word I than he has a lifetime, mate. Brosh, regardless, man. Brosh, anyway, Brosh, what's to come is people who have far more than that in the word which is the word I, mate. But, really. I mean, really? Brosh, there's some aspects of life where you never have Danny Milovoy, which is Serbian and Croatian and Balkan language. And you guys never have veganism like Danny Milovoy. And you guys never have as much content as Danny Milovoy has done in this world. I mean, good luck to you, man. I mean, you guys never have my looks and the way I fucking look. I mean, you guys can never fucking talk like I can. I mean, you guys can never fucking be in the fucking life experience of my life. I mean, you guys can never outlive me. I mean, you guys can never fucking outlive me in life. I live longer than you in life. I live longer than you. I mean, you, I mean, what, what, I mean, what? I mean, you have more women than me. I have fucking more age than you, bitches. I have more age than you, bitches. I have, I'm much more legacy than you, bitches, out there. I'm fucking much more of a star than all of you. I mean, what the fuck are you going to do in life? I mean, how do you feel, man? I've done more fucking million, I've done more music production than you in life. I went around the fucking world, fucking more women than you too. I promise you too. I have fucking more everything than you. I have more kids than you, man. I fucking I drove Ferraris around town. I drove fucking Lamborghinis and Mercedes Benz. I have other people driving me, man. I have a jet, man. I have a jet. I have fucking real estate all around the world, man. I have my word I, at least. I still have my fucking word I, mate. I mean, who the fuck do you think you are, mate? I teach fucking better than all of you. I've done nine hour seminars around town. I'm just 29 years of age right now. I mean, you understand? I'm just 29 years of age, bitch. I mean, if, I mean, you fucking you get smart. I love you all, but I love you all. And I guess what? I mean, every single day I'm adding value. I'm just understand. I'm just better than all of you and everything, mate. I'm a comedian. I'm a singer. I'm an actor. 
Well, guess what, Brochu? That's excellent for me, Brochu. When people never want to follow me and Danny Milivojevic, Brochu, guess what, Brochu? They're jealous, man. They're jealous of me, man, Brochu. I just understand. It's all words, man. I've done more than all of you, man. Brochu, that's the way it is. And look at my words, man. My words are very powerful, man. Also, though, as I promote people, I, I, I do more promotion of other people than you do as well. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I, I see, I see that I have women, but the woman never fulfills him, mate. Which a woman never fulfill them in life. I can see that. I can see the body never fulfills people too. Which the body, I've watched the body, and also the woman never fulfill you. Which the body in the physical world never fulfill you, mate. Which the physical world never fulfills either. I can see that. Which the eye fulfills, mate. Which the word eye fulfills, mate. I understand, mate. I'm doing far greater anyway, mate. I'm doing the best job I can, mate. That's all fake, mate. <laughs> That's all fake for me. That's all fake, mate. That's all fake to me, mate. Which they have nothing to do on that day except sex, mate, and drugs. That's what they're doing. Which that's what they're doing. I see the communication on that day. Which that one wants him the most, mate. But guess what? Russia they're never together, are they? Huh. And she learned very fast, man. And she learned that he's never the way, huh? <laughs> Ah, I mean they're learning already. I mean, for this woman, I mean Dan Brazilian. For this woman that are Dan, for this woman does a lot that are with Dan, or or this woman that are with Dan Brazilian. For they find out very fast about him. <laughs> you know, when they find out very fast about you and how much you just want to fuck them, in life. For she, for they find out about you very quickly, mate. And a very smart woman. I said, yeah. I hear the woman has big. I mean, he has, I see. She says that she has a big dick. See, really? See, she never said that. See, she never said that. <laughs> see, she never said that. But some woman was like trying to fucking build him here. I mean, you trying to build him? Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, he wants to fuck woman. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> and yeah. yeah, yeah. Go ahead, I mean, go ahead. I mean, the guy has fucking ten women fucking him. I mean, I mean, I mean which one? I mean, which one of you women want to fuck him? I mean, come on. I mean, give you some money. I mean, he gives you some money to fuck them. But it's the way it is, man. That's how it is. I mean, they're happy with that. Of course, they're happy. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I mean, do any of your women, of course, do any of your women want to marry you in life? I mean, which woman? I mean, which woman want to marry you in life? I mean, come on. I mean, which one? I mean, which one? I mean, give me a woman, mate. I mean, give me a woman that wants to marry you in terms of Dan Bazillion. I mean, guess what? I mean, which woman wants to marry Dan Bazillion in terms of... I mean, which woman wants to marry Dan Bill Zirion, man? I mean, which one, man? I mean, which one? I mean, he just wants to fuck woman. <laughs> I mean, he just wants to fuck woman, man. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, keep it up. I, 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 mean, I mean, Dan Bazillion. I mean, Dan Bill Zirion. I hope you keep it up, man. I promise you that sooner than later, I promise you the kids. I promise you, forget the kids, man. I mean, forget the kids in life. I mean, I'm ha I'm having three kids, man. I mean, Dan Bazuria, I'm having three kids in my life. <laughs> I have three kids at least. I, I mean, I understand you have no kids. I, I understand Dan Bazurian. I understand you have no kids in your life. <laughs> I see you have fucking no kids in your life in your 40 years of age. I'm going to have five kids. I'm going to tell, I'm 28 years of age. I'm, I'm, I'm having five kids in my life, bitch. I have five kids in my life. I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, yeah, I have five kids in my life, but who, who? I say, yeah, 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 yeah. Who, 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 who? I said, tell him, mate. I'm telling him. <laughs> I'm fucking telling him, mate. I mean, yeah, how much? I mean, Dan Bazurian. I mean, how many fucking women is your fucking life? I have fucking five kids more than you. I say, fuck yes. I have five kids more than you, bitch. I have six kids. I have six kids. I've been... I mean, does a woman want to give me seven kids around town? I mean, which woman wants to give me seven kids? I mean, I have many of them. I have many of them. I mean, which woman wants to give me eight kids? I, mean, I have fucking eight kids more than you, bitch. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're fucking regretting life, aren't you? Man? Ah. 
Oh man, I, I mean, he's fucking regretting life, mate. I mean, oh, I mean, come on, man. I mean, he wants, I mean, he wants me, man. I mean, he wants life, mate. <laughs> I mean, guess what? I'm, I'm telling, I'm showing the truth, mate. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, he fucking has all the pussy, mate. I mean, yeah. I mean, this one's touching his cock, mate. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, it's like, like some king. I mean, it's like, I mean, it's some king star, mate. I mean, he's a king star, mate. <laughs> I have more kids than you, mate. I have more kids than you. I have more kids than you in life. I say, at least I get to kiss with my kid, man, in the head. I say, yeah! I say, fuck yes. So anyway, I love life, man. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the lifestyle of all the women, man. I mean, go and check him out. Go and check him out. I'll promote him anyway. I wrote it like, yeah, I love you, man. I love you, bro. I love you, damn Brazilian. I love you, man. I love you, bro. <laughs> I, I get to kiss my woman. I get to have one woman in life, for fuck's sake. I get to have one woman. I see that fucking lifestyle already. I mean, 40 years of age and no kids, man. <laughs> for fuck's sake. I mean, 40... I mean, 40-year-old virgin, man. <laughs> I mean, the 40-year-old virgin. I mean, that's a fucking... I mean, that's a movie. The 40-year-old virgin, man. Who has no kids. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, I mean, the, I mean, when he has a kid, then he's no longer a virgin, for fuck's sake. I mean, that's him because the forty-year-old virgin has no kids, does he? <laughs> and fuck, but well, he's the forty-year-old virgin, mate. Today, I mean, that's him. I mean, for fuck's sake, mate. <laughs> oh, I love you, bro. I'm doing better than that. I'm doing better than that. I love me, I love me. I'm actually, yeah, yeah, you have some pussy, man. Good, I mean, good for you, for fuck's sake. I mean, damn Brazilian. I mean, damn Brazilian. I mean, you fuck more women than Jesus Christ, man. I mean, for fuck's sake. Oh! I mean, fucking... I mean, how much fucking woman do you have in life, for fuck's sake? I mean, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, Jesus Christ showing you that you have to have a better life anyway. I mean, you have to have a better life. <laughs> I mean, for fuck's sake, I mean, Jesus Christ wishes for this many women in life. I promise you. I mean, Jesus Christ says, hey, I mean, why not? I mean, why not? I mean, Jesus Christ says, it's a good thing to have this woman in your life. In life. I promise you. I'll say why not. I'll say yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a nice and beautiful thing. I mean, I mean, he has a beauty pile around him for fuck's sake. I mean, look at this. I mean, I, I have one son and one daughter and much more than that. <laughs> I'll let him be, bro. I'll watch you, yeah, yeah. I'll let, let him be, let me. <laughs> I understand. But the thing is, every single day, just focus on your life, man. I mean, focus on your life and understand every single day. We're just enjoying it. We're just enjoying life, man. I mean, for fuck's sake, I mean, I mean, damn Brazilian, I mean, do you have fucking one photo of yourself and just you, man? <laughs> I mean, for fuck's sake, I mean, it's fucking all fucking photos of him and fucking woman on fucking Google. I mean, fucking, where's the photo of just you, man? I mean, fucking, do you love yourself, man? <laughs> I mean, you only love yourself with woman, huh? <laughs> for fuck's sake. I mean, fucking, give me a photo of just you for fucking, I'm looking fucking 20 million years for your photo, man. To promote you, at least. I mean, for fuck's sake, man. Oh. I mean, look at that, man. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love everything, mate. <laughs> oh. I mean, look at this. I mean, I mean, fuck me dead, man. I mean, give me a photo of just you, man. Oh. I mean, yeah, six pack, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, hey, I mean, listen to me. I mean, damn Missourian. I mean, you have fucking bigger six packs than Jesus Christ. <laughs> and good for you, man. Oh, I mean, guess what? I mean, Jesus Christ says that he actually does. I mean, he actually does. The Jesus Christ says that he actually does have bigger six packs, man. A little bit, don't I? I wish you have bigger six packs than me, too. <laughs> so good for you, man. I, I, I'm down Brazilian. I mean, I, I mean, when you turn one, I mean, when you turn 100 years of age, I mean, fucking, that's fading away, isn't it? When those six pack are fading away, bro. Oh, I mean, maybe have a one pack. <laughs>